Yes, John, you're right on the button. We are expecting a little bit more snow, at least for the next two or three days. We're into a bit of a cycle, a seven-day cycle, almost a repeat story to last week, where we had some sleet and snow, then it started to warm up, and then by the end of the week it started to turn colder again. The same pattern for this week. Some snow to start with, but then it'll warm up around the middle part of the week, but then turn colder as we move through the weekend. Now, this is the big picture. We can see a lot of cloud on our satellite picture covering much of Britain into the near continent. A trailing weather system way out into the Atlantic, still giving some outbreaks of rain across the more southern parts of England. But the more significant change is this weather system a little bit further north. That's pulling down some quite cold air. And as that low doesn't move very much over the next few days, it starts to bring these Arctic air winds all the way down across Britain and further southward. So we are again in for a cold snap and we are expecting more of those wintry showers. And then by the middle part of the week, these weather fronts start to push through, they bring the milder air through and it starts to warm up and really by Thursday and Friday we're back up to average figures for the time of year. Well, let's start by looking at the wind strength and direction. It is very breezy today with some very strong gusts and of course with some of those sleet and snow showers in the north there will be blizzard conditions. But milder air is arriving and it arrives through Wednesday and Thursday as it warms up. We'll see those temperatures rise and some of that sleet and snow starting to melt. Now the worst affected areas for the next 24 hours, today and tomorrow, will be across parts of Scotland, mainly north of the Great Glen, but we are expecting snow showers further south as well, being, being driven along by some fairly gusty winds, and really those winds staying strong over much of Britain through today, through tonight and through tomorrow. Northern Scotland, the worst affected areas, blizzards for the mountains with more snow likely here tonight and tomorrow, but also some of that snow getting into Northern Ireland and the hills of Northern England as well. You can see on the radar the very bright echo. There's a little bit of rain in some of these more southern counties. That'll sweep through quite quickly through the afternoon and give us the best temperature in the south of 8 or 9, but feeling rather chilly because of the strength of that wind. And then by midnight we see more significant snow coming down northern and western Scotland into Northern Ireland, perhaps into the hills of northern England as well, with the lowest temperatures down around freezing, so watch out for a few icy patches. A frost on Monday night, a frost also on Tuesday night before it starts to warm up. Monday's forecast is a little bit more straightforward. Lots of showers being blown along by those strong northwesterly winds. Some still down the east coast by Tuesday, but here's the change. Here's the mild air trying to get in. On the leading edge on Wednesday, that mild air will give us some sleet and snow, even at low levels, before it all moves out of the way. And then by Thursday and Friday, the milder rain sweeping through. That's the forecast.